6,000-year-old genetic disk revealed advanced knowledge that can only be seen with the help of a microscope. The genetic disk, quote-unquote, is a remarkable artifact that could rewrite ancient history and the humanity ancient origin. The disk carved in lydite contains incredible information that can only be seen with help of a microscope. It was found in South America, but it does not fit any existing ancient American culture. The object is assumed to be more than 6,000 years old. The genetic disk, which reportedly includes knowledge of human genetic development, is one of the most astounding discoveries of the 20th century. Surprisingly, the disk is supposed to date from the prehistoric past, and the markings on the round stone depict biological phenomena that scientists only learned about after the invention of the microscope. Is it true that an advanced society existed before humans, or is it just a hoax? In 1964, an industrial designer named Jamie Guterres Lega discovered the so-called genetic disk near Bogota, Colombia. He'd been collecting mysterious old objects for decades, and the black stone disk is one of them. He described the majority of the items in Suta Tausa, a little exposed, explored, rocky part of Colombia's Cunina Marca province. The genetic disc, as it's known, the stone disc is 27 centimeters in diameter, weighs about 2 kilograms, is composed of lydite. It's a highly hard material that's equivalent to granite, yet it's brittle due to its multilayer structure. As a result, according to current technology standards, Carving anything out of this material is impossible. Furthermore, the interesting figures on the disc appears to have been stamped on the stone rather than carved. Symbols depicting the intraturin development of the fetus in all stages, as well as cell division in all stages of some unknown organisms, can be found on both sides of the disc. On the one hand, there is a depiction of a fetus growing into a humanoid entity, the male and female genital organs are depicted on the disc. The peculiar part is that these creatures' heads do not resemble those of humans. The image of the genetic disc gained notoriety after it was supported by uh, renowned archaeological researcher Klaus Donner. Carlo Crespi Crocchi, a missionary in Ecuador in the mid-20th century, could have discovered the disc, according to Swiss author Eric von Däniken. Crocky possessed a collection of South American artifacts that did not fit into any of the known archaeological cultures. Stone discs and tablets with ancient designs were among the objects he possessed. Surprisingly, the disc is dated to the prehistoric age according to carbon dating, although the sperm was first detected in 1677 by Anthony van Leeuwenhoek using a microscope, the human sperm. He was seen under the microscope at that time, in 1677. The other ancient alien artifacts from the collection of Guterres. The disc's validity has always been questioned. To begin with, there is no record of where the disc was discovered. Second, Dr. Vera M. F. Hammer, a mineralogist and curator for the Department of Mineralogy and Petrology at the Natural History Museum of Vienna, said my former director, who was a petrologist, said that this rock could be lydite, a gray to black fine-grained schist, or an artificial product made of these materials. I never assigned the disc or any of these artifacts to a certain cultural period or made any age statements, as they are not my areas of expertise, he said. Klaus has never stated that the discs are a forgery, he presented it to experts at Columbia's National University who discovered that the disc was unrelated to any known Colombian tribes in South America. The disc could be at least 6,000 years old, according to the researchers. And this is on, by Myth and Mystery on Collective Spark. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. 
You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.